This video is brought to you by patreon.com backslash sip to tally. Join the Patreon for exclusive vids, early release vids, on-screen shoutouts, access to members-only giveaways, and added monthly tally points. Hop on over to patreon.com backslash sip to tally to see which one of the four tiers fits for you. Now let's get started. Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to take a look at the reasons I think the Baltimore Ravens should sign Michael Pittman Jr. First off, standing at 6'4", 223 pounds, you have that big bite of receiver that all of us have been clamoring for. We haven't had a receiver of that caliber that can produce in a while. We've had taller guys that did not produce for whatever reason, not going to get into it. But Michael Pittman is a proven producer over his first four years in the league. And let's kind of take a look at some of his stats over the first four years. So I'll it'll add to the reason why I think the Baltimore Ravens should at least attempt to go after Michael Pittman Jr., if he hits the open market, he was drafted by the Colts. He's played his four years. It's time, you know, that four year time period come up because he wasn't a first round draft pick. Matter of fact, he was drafted 34, 34th overall in the uh, 2020 draft. So not a first round pick, doesn't have that fifth year option. He's ready to hit the open market or not get a nice lucrative check from the Indianapolis Colts. But either way, he's going to get paid. But let's take a look at why he's going to get paid. First four seasons in the league. As a rookie, 40 catches, 503 yards. Typical rookie numbers, you know, nothing big, nothing, not bad. It is what it is. And keep in mind, the whole time he's been in Indianapolis, he hasn't had like a solid QB. He's been in and out guys. So his second year, first 1,000-yard season, he had 88 catches, 1,082 yards. Third season, he went up to 99 catches, but he only had 925 yards. Still a good season. One, one catch shy of 100 yards. 900, I'm sorry, one catch shy of 100 catches, then 925 yards. And then last year, Gardner Minshew was the quarterback for most of the season. So he had some continuity there, even though Anthony Richardson was the starter when the year started. But he had 109 catches, 1,152 yards. So that's two 1,000-yard seasons in his first three years. And he was 75 yards short, short of having three 1,000-yard receiving years in his first three years so that's a lot of production in the first four years of a career for a guy that really didn't have any good QB play let's take a look at another reason why I think we should sign or at least kick the tires on Michael Pittman he was ranked the 24th best receiver in the NFL by PFF now we know we have this love hate relationship with PFF but they're good for some things and I think in this instance kind of ranking the receivers and some other things they have i, I feel is justifiable uh his grade was 77.7 on a year which is, this is a good it's good to be the 21st ranked receiver in the nfl that's not a bad number speaking of all the good receivers we have i mean because just looking at this list one through five you'd love to have tyreek hill brandon Ayuk, amon ross st brown justin jefferson nico collins and to be ranked 21st not bad he's stuck between deandre hopkins and Devonte adams I wouldn't mind being between those guys in an NFL ranking system. Here's what it is. Now, with that being said, let's take a look at some of his individual numbers. Uh, well, not individual numbers, but some little nuanced numbers in, in those big set of numbers. Drop percentage. He only had five drops this year with a 4.4% drop rate. Um, and how many targets did he have? He had, I'll tell you in a second. 150. He had 150 targets, 109 catches. Pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Catch percentage of 72.7. Uh, 50 50 balls. 15 of 28. 53.6% clip of 50 50 balls. It's one thing to throw 50 50 balls to Zay Flowers. Shorter guy, about 5'8, 5'7, 5'9, whatever, whatever he's listed at. But it's not it's different when it's a different when you put a guy who's been productive already at 6'3, 6'4, long arms, who can go get those 50-50 balls really. It doesn't have to be an extraordinary effort to do it. He's proven that he can do it this year, catching them over at 50% clip. So it's 
it would add an element to the offense that the offense hadn't had yet. I think it would take the offense to a different level. Even though the offense showed improvement this year, it was still too much up and down, up and down, up and down. So I would really like the offense to take a and find a bigger wide receiver to put in this offense. Now, we've had bigger wide receivers on this team, but they weren't very productive, Miles Boykin. So now you got a guy that's been proven that he can go get the ball. He can go be productive in the offense with questionable QB play over his first four years. Take him, put him in his offense, I think it goes to another level. Now let's take a look at what it's probably going to take to sign Michael Pittman Jr. So I go over to Sport Track and his estimated or calculated market value sits at $22.7 million. That's a boatload of money. Will the Baltimore Ravens fork that up for a wide receiver? I don't know. Should they? Most definitely. Most definitely fork that over. Um, whether it's $22 million, I'm not really sure. But they, the market on sports track says that he should get a contract for four years right around $90 million, averaging $22 million a year. So I think the Baltimore Ravens should kick the tires on Michael Pittman Jr. and see if they can find a way to, to sign him. Proven guy, got the stats to prove it up, got the tape to prove it up, and um, he'd be a extremely important addition to the Baltimore Ravens. Now, with that being said, are there some other big body receivers out there that you guys think the Baltimore Ravens should take a look at? If so, put the name in the comment section. Or are there some receivers in the draft that you think the Ravens should look at? Put those names in the comment section also, and I can take a look at those guys and, and see what they're all about. So I appreciate you guys for coming through. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Like the video. If you have not subscribed yet, please consider doing so. And when you do subscribe, hit that bell so it'll be notified when the rest of these videos drop. It's uh, time to get the workday started. It's about 530. And uh, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. And I'll see you when I see you. Peace.